Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, first of all, Happy New Year to you. Um, sorry for my lack of uh, participating in YouTube videos, etc. Um, over December and the Christmas period um, due to being quite ill actually for a couple of weeks with um, proper flu. Uh, not just man flu, the real thing. Um, so I was actually incapacitated for the best part of a week. Um, but I'm back now, back to work, that sort of thing. Um, this video, um, I was given at the Camp Shaky Meet by Ian Woody Wood Prepper um, a Lakehorn box, um, which was a bit battered and all that sort of stuff. So I sprayed it up. I'm just going to bring you down a bit, guys, so you can see. There we go. So I sprayed it up um, in black, used some acid etch primer on it first. And they're just some matte black car paint. Um, and put the shelves in, um, and I, these are actually removable. Um, I've got my Coleman 533, a Prezi, um, so all good there. And a new uh, GSI kettle for Christmas. Um, so yeah I've made these shelves um, or sorry this one came with it so I've made another one and just put a couple of dividers in and it can all be unscrewed interchangeable that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> the reason for this video is what I'm going to do or I've got something else to show you but I will be doing another video on this on fitting in it fitting it semi semi permanently into the van. Um, and I've looked for other videos on YouTube and there's not really a lot about. So if anyone's got uh, a Lakehorn box and um, wants to follow me on that, um, fitting it so it is removable and I don't really want to bang a load of screws through the back. Um, so that will be another video coming up soon. And then obviously stocking this out. So we'll close that up. There we go. Close that up. We'll get that fitted on the van, um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that um, in another video. But I'll just pause you, and I'll bring you back in a minute to show you the next thing. Right, here we go. Next thing I've just been tinkering about with <coughs> um, purely because the idea for the Lakehorn box. And this is that I always go to a meet and I've never got the right gear um, I've never got enough food or certain things I forget so I want to stock these up keep these on the van especially the Lakehorn box um, and so I've always got it with me so I can always cook for myself I don't forget gas uh, stupid things um, so yeah this is a uh, chuck box cubby box whatever you want to call it um, and it's just made with some scraps at the moment. It's all just uh, sterling board or OSB. And it's just because I had a surplus of this. All, it's all off cuts. And rather than throw it out or burn it, um, I thought I'd do a prototype to see how this goes. Um, so I'll take it apart or take this off. As this lifts off. And then becomes the stand. Um, and we're going to do this. Let's just move that there for a second. Hopefully it's all going to be in shot. That then becomes the stand. And that then sits in there. Um, so yeah, what I am going to do is there's going to be, oh you can't even see, do apologise, what there is going to be on here, there's going to be another piece of this board cut through the middle and hinged on the sides and they will actually open up, I've got to get some more piano hinge, so they will open up and then obviously be sit down on here to support those. Um, and that's what I've come up with. You can see that yet? 
um, so we can get all manner of things storage in the in the uh, doors and they will take not that you're gonna have that but quite sizable bottles tins obviously this you know oils uh, anything really but I want to have uh, different spices and, and all that sort of stuff always with me um, this isn't quite finished yet. That will fit a uh, Coleman uh, dual burner stove um, and most other stoves. My gas one at the moment will sit in there quite nicely but I'm hoping to get uh, the Coleman dual fuel one and that will go in there eventually. Now I've got a few drawers here. Um, quite nice size for utensils, that sort of stuff. So that's going to go into there. Um, so I've got to fix that one. I may put another shelf in here. But I'm rather than, than build what I think, I'm going to get all my gear together um, and start filling it um, and see where we go and I'll build a shelf as and when I need it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was quite a good idea. There are a few videos on YouTube um, with these. It's not my idea at all. Um, it was more uh, a few American channels I was watching and they they uh, came up with these or they were building these and I thought well I had a load of scraps left so I'll uh, just build them myself. So at the moment it's just a prototype. Um, it will be used at the uh, next few meets just to see how it goes and obviously if it works out well um, what I'll be doing is building one in birch ply but at the moment that's looking at sort of £60 a sheet just to buy it. Um, and this is about a sheet and a half to, um, depending on again how many div divisions I put in, it's about a sheet and a half um, to build this box. Um, so I think it didn't cost me anything, just my time. So uh, we'll give it a go at, at the uh, at the next few meets, or we'll keep it in the van, like I say. I have got to put the let's say another two wings on there, which will fold out and rest on with these. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, drawers are a bit crappy, but again, it is only a prototype. So if it works well, I'll be making another one from Birch Ply, and then this one I might donate or give away or donate to the Camp Shaky crew um, as our little camp kitchen one, or just give it away. I really don't know yet, but we'll see how it goes. So um, yeah, I will. Uh, I'm gonna have to put something on it because it looks a bit crappy. Um, so if you're at the next Camp Shaky meet, I think we're doing one summer, I'm not sure if we're doing an Easter one, uh, but this will be there and um, yeah, or is that if you want one built, let me know, to your, built to your own specifications and um, I'm sure we can work something out. So thanks for watching guys, again sorry for my lack of videos etc um, over the Christmas period, but that hopefully will change soon. Um, yeah, and we'll be seeing this one in action at the next meet, which I believe, oh I don't know when it is, to be perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, hope you're all well guys, take it easy, thanks for watching, see you soon.